Hi, I'm Rebecca Cottrell, and I'm the Recycling Educator for Peoria County Recycling and Resource Conservation Department. Um, today I'm going to present on barriers and assets to county recycling programs as experienced by us here in Peoria County. Peoria County is, or Peoria, is known as the heart of Illinois, and Peoria County is the center of a multiple county region along the Illinois River, um, about halfway between Chicago and St. Louis. Peoria County's population is a little over 182,000, and the county is sort of demographically diverse, with a small town lifestyle, but we also have um, the city of Peoria, which is larger. We have some large businesses like Caterpillar, but we also have many small and medium-sized businesses. And as I mentioned, I work for the Recycling and Resource Conservation Department of Peoria County Government. The Recycling and Resource Conservation Department is responsible for the enforcement of the Commercial Recycling Ordinance, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. Um, we monitor recycling drop-off sites, and we provide educational programs to classrooms, businesses, and civic clubs. Our department was formed after the Solid Waste Planning Act of the early 1990s said that counties with populations over 100,000 people had to deal with waste generation in their own counties. A solid waste management plan was drafted by Peoria County staff and approved by the county board that also included the development of this department. Um, at the time, we were the solid waste management um, department of Peoria County um, and in the early in early 2000s, the name was changed to the Recycling and Resource Conservation Department. Um, today, I'll tell you a few of those barriers and assets that we've experienced here in our county. In Peoria County, each municipality has the choice in how they handle waste hauling. Some communities have included recycling with every resident paying the same fee for waste and recycling service and receiving the same level of service. Other communities communities have negotiated the waste contract so that recycling is available through subscription if a resident chooses to recycle. A few small communities in Peoria County do not have subscription service for recycling and waste and can be hauled by any hauler they choose, meaning that some neighborhoods may have two or three garbage trucks a week. And this is not ideal and only occurs in a few communities. As a county, we do offer four drop-off sites um, in three communities, and these can be used by small businesses or any resident. I would say municipalities handling their own waste con hauling contracts is mostly an asset to overall recycling in our county. However, those communities um, do have a consistent program that makes outreach and education easy with good participation. Um, however, the towns or villages that do not have a consistent waste hauler or offer subscription recycling service are a barrier to advancing the recycling in our county. Aside from household hazardous waste material, there are also a few other materials that are banned from Illinois landfills. Those include yard waste that was banned in 1990, appliance or white goods, um, refrigerators, stoves, microwaves, um, banned in 1994, um, tires were banned also in 1994, and electronics were banned for residential disposal in January of 2012. These items banned from disposal in Illinois landfills create a different, sometimes difficult, recycling stream. Yard waste is collected nine months of a year in most communities and in Peoria County. We also have a compost facility um, here in Peoria County that can accept yard waste or brush 12 months out of the year, which we're lucky to have. Um, appliances or white goods are handled by companies selling these items um, in our county. And also we have a few recycling appliance recycling companies that will refurbish or recycle these items with a small pickup fee. Amron's Act on Energy program has also helped with old refrigerators, um, providing even a financial incentive for getting rid of old refrigerators. Um, electronics were banned, as I said, in 2012, and we're lucky to have a few companies that specialize in electronics recycling located here in Peoria. And this is very convenient for residents for drop-off um, at these companies. And then other retailers like Best Buy or Target who sell electronics also accept these items and batteries for recycling. Several one-day, one-collection events are also hosted by those larger electronics recycling companies um, that are beneficial to residents as well to sort of get rid of everything all at one time. Out of the waste that's banned from landfills, tires present the largest problem for us here in Peoria County. Um, and our, also for our municipalities. 
Um, residents can recycle tires for a fee at any location selling tires, and some residents do not like to pay that $3 fee for tire recycling and choose to stockpile or even later dump these tires. We've worked to remedy this problem with township road commissioners in our area. We have in the past scheduled five cleanups a year for the townships in our county, um, rotating, so about every third year a township would receive um, a, a tire collection event and they would receive a direct mailing and then the day of the event ID was required showing their zip code and then they we would accept up to five tires um, and we would pay for them to go to a tire shredder. This program has now morphed into a different one. With the help of the I IEPA we now host rural or municipal rural municipal tire cleanups and collect only tires collected from illegal dumping on township roadways. Um, a mailing is sent to the township commissioners and villages requesting the number of stored tires they have, and once a final number is received by us, then the townships will transport their own collected tires to one set location over a two-day period, and then disposal is actually paid for by the IEPA instead of just us. So in terms of barriers to recycling, tires are still the largest problem, with people choosing not to use the mechanism in place for recycling tires at the point of purchase. Um, electronics recycling is not as hard, but we're still working on the education component of this, as some residents still want to include these items with their landfill waste, um, but that is going much smoother for us um, than tires. Yard waste and landscape waste is just ongoing education piece as well when it comes to the benefits of home composting over transporting small quantities of these items. Um, the collection of compostables is expanding in our area, um, but at this point is offered um, only to businesses um, and not available to residents. So we are still advocating for home composting um, as the most energy efficient means of taking care of yard waste or landscape waste. There are many assets to recycling in Peoria County as well. One major one is the county's commercial recycling ordinance. A waste audit was done in the early 1990s, around the time our department was formed, determining that over half of the waste generated in our county is coming from the commercial sector. This is still the case. The county board did decide in the early 90s to go forward with the commercial recycling ordinance that was instituted in 1994. This commercial recycling ordinance requires businesses to report the two largest components of their waste stream to our county recycling inspector. She then tracks and reports the number, the pounds and tons of materials that are recycled in our county through businesses. Another benefit um, in our county is that we do have a large number of haulers, um, which is beneficial in terms of competition and also the number of materials that can be accepted. Um, all haulers that are in our area have moved to single stream recycling and are accepting the same materials. Um, any color of glass, metals, mixed paper, and plastics 1 through 5 and 7. Most haulers are going to one of two materials recovery facilities in our area, and we're happy to have one large materials recovery facility and one smaller materials recovery facil facility, or MRF, within 45 miles of our county which is an additional benefit. In addition to this, as I mentioned, we do have two compost facilities located in our county. Um, one is a public site, which accepts only yard waste and landscape waste um, at our city county landfill. Well, not at the landfill, but next to the, adjacent to the landfill is the city county yard waste or landscape facility. And then we have one private company that also accepts materials 12 months out of the year and also accepts commercial food waste, which is a huge asset to businesses in our area.